This is an example of interpreting salt mobility using a seismic profile from the North Sea that comes from the Virtual Seismic Atlas. So where's the salt in this image? Here we go. We can interpret the top of the salt quite well. It generates a good reflection. But the flanks of the salt, particularly as you go down, become less distinct. And you can see that as you approach the edge of the salt as I picked it, the amplitude in the seismic reflections dims significantly. And these are common imaging problems around salt. So let's build an interpretation of this. I think it's useful to start shallow and move deep. So let's pick a shallow package across here, which we can see is bulged across the top of the salt bodies, like this. Slightly increased thickness in the synclines adjacent to the salt. Let's keep moving down. Here's another package that we can pick beneath the yellow one, and this orange one brings out the geometry even more so, with thins across the crest of the domes and a thicker succession within the synclines. Classic growth strata, and we can see within the orange package the internal reflectivity onlaps the salt body. Or actually, if you look closely, it's not the salt body it's onlapping. It's a package of reflections lying between the salt and the orange. Let's just pick this. And we've got another unit in here below, which I picked out in yellow again, that lies on the walls of the salt body. And let's just keep going down. And there's another package below in here that banks up against the salt body. And then all this unit underneath. So a series of units in here built up around the salt. Let's look at some geometries. We've already picked out some reflections in here, but you can see that the package of reflectors in that upper orange unit onlaps the yellow, which forms flaps along the walls of the salt body. In the main synclines, we've got thick down-built successions where sediment aggradation is simply piled up there presumably expelling salt from underneath to feed into the salt bodies that we can see in the profile here. And the incremental growth of the salt and the subsidence of the intervening basin floor is picked out by the stratal geometries that we've just interpreted. While we're on this, you, let's look at the shallow part of the section I've not coloured in, and you can see above the two salt bodies some amplitude anomalies, slightly brighter amplitudes that you can see, which probably represent shallow gas, fairly common features associated with salt bodies, as the salt's rising fractures the rock, allowing gas to escape from deeper formations and accumulate in the shallow. So there we have an interpretation of the seismic profile. Following a workflow of working shallow, and moving progressively deeper in the stratigraphic section, building understanding as we go.